Hi, this is Will Cook of the Will Cook Group at Keller Williams Luxury Homes. Welcome back to my video blog. Today we're going to talk about the top three myths about today's real estate market. The first myth that we're going to talk about is that we're headed towards another housing bubble. Home prices have appreciated year over year for the past 76 straight months and many areas of the country are at or near their peak price levels that were achieved just before the last bubble burst. Therefore, there are many people that are worried that we're headed towards another bubble. But the reality is, the biggest challenge we're having in our real estate market right now is a lack of homes for sale. In our economy, demand is strong, not weak. As many people are getting off the fence, to find their dream homes. Historically, a normal market requires a six months of inventory in order for prices to rise with the rate of inflation. And according to the National Association of Realtors, there is currently a 4.3 months of supply nationally. This tells us that there is upward pressure still on pricing, especially in the lower price points. And if we experience a downturn in our economy and demand weakens, we should return to a more normalized market with price gains in line with inflation versus a bubble bursting. The second myth that we're going to discuss is that a rumored recession will lead to another housing market crash. Well, economists and analysts know that the country has experienced economic growth for almost a decade. It is the second largest economic expansion in America's history, approaching the longest. And when this happens, they also know that a recession can't be far too, too far off. So what is a recession exactly? So Miriam Webster defines a recession as a period of temporary economic decline during which trade and industrial activity are reduced, generally identified by a fall in the GDP in two consecutive quarters. So in reality, a recession does not equal a housing crisis. Many people associate these two terms with one another because the last time there was a recession, it was caused by the housing crisis. But according to the Federal Reserve, over the last 40 years, there have been six recessions. In each of the previous five recessions, home values actually appreciated. And the third and final myth that we're going to discuss today is that there is an affordability crisis. There are many different affordability indices supported by different organizations that all measure the data differently. For this reason, there is a lot of confusion about what affordable actually means. The monthly cost of a home is determined by the price that is paid and the interest rate of the mortgage that is used to purchase it. According to Freddie Mac, interest rates have risen from 3.95 in January to 4.59 just last week. So here's the reality. As we mentioned earlier, home prices have appreciated year over year for the last 76 months, largely driven by high demand and low supply. As we see in the slide, according to a recent study by Zillow, the percentage of median income necessary to buy a home in today's market, 17.1%, is well below the mark reached in 1985 to 2000, which was 21%, as well as the mark reached in 2006, which is 25.4%. Interest rates would have to increase to 6% before buying a home would be less affordable than historical norms. The bottom line is, there's a lot of confusion in today's real estate market. If your future plans involve buying or selling, then let's sit down and talk about the market and how it impacts your unique situation. If you have any other real estate related topics or questions that I can answer, then please give me a call, text me or email me, and I'd be happy to make a video about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.